An Ohio group that's taught teachers how to use firearms now wants your school to arm itself in a very different way. Jackie Kutcher talks to Sydney school leaders who are on board. Anything we can do to save our kids and make a safer uh, area for them to be in is excellent. Joyce Vance has been happy with the Sydney City School District's approach to protecting students. I feel comfortable that she's here. Not only are many staff members in each building trained to respond to an active shooter and have access to weapons, but each classroom has a small medical kit in case of any sort of emergency. In the event of a, of a gunshot wound or a large laceration, it can be put on and direct pressure placed onto the wound. Uh, that's a stopgap until we actually get medics into a situation. Now district leaders plan on going one step further after recommendations from the Buckeye Firearms Foundation. We are well prepared but we need to be better prepared. Superintendent John Shu says they plan to have trauma kits in each school to include gauze compression, bandages, even a chest seal and tourniquets and train staff on how to use them. The tourniquet has uh, saved many a soldier on the battlefield. The Buckeye Firearms Foundation hopes other Ohio school districts will follow suit. Superintendent Chu says he sees it as a one-time expense that's worth every penny. Well, hopefully you would never have to use such a trauma kit, but it's still being proactive and uh, preparing for an emergency, um, at which, in which case uh, I certainly think that it would be a good idea to have those trauma kits available. Everything that we can do to help the kids and save lives, that's what we, what we want to do.